Hi, my name is Thane Frost. I work with the maintenance at Camp Good News of Maine. It's a pleasure to be able to bring some thoughts from God's Word for you today. I hope it's a blessing to you as, has, as it has been to me. In God's Word, in Psalm 107, verse 2, it says, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. When I hear a testimony about someone's salvation, someone's walk with the Lord, I think of a quote that Mr. Beaver said in the Chronicles of Narnia. He said, Aslan is on the move. Whenever I think of that, I think of the fact that God is at work in the hearts of boys and girls. God is at work in the hearts of people in God's family. When I was nine years old, I had the privilege of trusting the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior from sin. I'm so thankful for my pastor who faithfully preached God's Word. Up until I was nine years old, having grown up in a Christian family, I believed that because I grew up in a Christian family that, well, I must be a Christian too. So that must mean I'm going to heaven. And I was trusting in that fact, not the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ died for my sin, that I needed to trust him as my own personal savior. So my pastor helped me to understand the gospel and to trust the Lord Jesus Christ as my savior from sin, not that I was brought up in a Christian family. So I trusted the Lord as my savior that day. I'm so thankful for a mom who taught me God's word and encouraged me to spend time in God's word and learning more about the Lord Jesus. That day I was redeemed. Redeemed. I love that word because of what comes to mind when I think about it. We all know about uh, soda cans uh, that Pepsi and Coke use to sell their products and how when they're done we can take those back to the Redemption Center to get money because Pepsi and Coke will buy their cans and bottles back so they can recycle them and use them again. So it is with, with us. God our Heavenly Father created us and he bought us but because of sin we've, we've been uh, we've had that separation from the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. But our Heavenly Father redeemed us and he's given us that message of the gospel that we can be redeemed and to become a child of God. We can be redeemed as we trust Christ as Savior. In God's word in Deuteronomy chapter 6 it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And these words which I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, when you lie down, and when you rise up. In Psalm 78, verses 1 through 8, it says, Give ear, O my people, listen to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. And we will not hide them from their children, telling to the generation to come the praises of the Lord and his strength and his wonderful works that he has done. For he has established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers, that they should make them known to their children, that the generation to come might set their hope in God, that the children who would be born, that they may arise and declare them to their children, that they may set their hope in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments, and may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation a generation that did not set its heart aright and whose spirit was not faithful to God. We need to be faithful in sharing the message of God's word that the generation to come might set their hope in God. This is why we follow the Lord Jesus. This is why we need to obey him 
and to be diligently listening to him and doing the work that he's called us to do. I've had the privilege of collecting several testimonies of campers who have written prayer letters uh, to their prayer partners. And I'd like to be able to, to share a few of those with you today as a testimony of what God is doing in the hearts of boys and girls here at Camp Good News and as they, even as they go home. Here's a boy that said, God help me to learn. It's not about me. It's about him. Here's a young girl that said, God help me to be brave enough to ask the Lord Jesus into my heart. It was very hard to ask him, so I thank God for giving me the courage and forgiveness. And I feel very happy that all of my sins have been forgiven. God help me to do the right thing all week and to be nice to others. Here's another girl that said, God help me to understand what he really did for me. God help me to believe in him and I got saved this week. God help me to go to heaven and he saved me. Well, not really coming right now, but he's going to. <laughs> it's exciting to see the children in their relationship with him wanting to know more about the Lord Jesus. Here's a girl that said, God help me to pray more. And on Tuesday night, I asked the Lord to come into my heart. And now he is going to stay with me forever and ever. Here's another child that said, Thank you for praying for me because God helped me to understand how much he really loves me. That's what our children need today, isn't it? To understand that they have a loving Heavenly Father. And as we have opportunity to give testimony of what the Lord has done, we're obeying what it says in Psalm 107.2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Thank you. Have a great day.